back for another Wilderness Wednesday. I often will receive requests from those of you who view the YouTube channel. This week it comes from one of our viewers, a shout out to JD. He was asking me for some navigation tips. Uh, things you can do whether you're on a backpacking trip and you get a little lost and you need to find your way back. Uh, and I'm going to show you a way to find north that's pretty quick. This is using a floret uh, or a sundial that you draw on your map. Now this is just a tourist map, um, but it will work for our application. What I do is I draw this sundial on my map and then I cut it in half and then cut it into quarters. And it's gonna be 12 at the top, six on either side, and then 12 at the bottom. And then I'm gonna cut those in half each. And I'm gonna go around 12, three, six, nine, 12, three, six, nine. And I'm gonna use that to find north along with a straight stick. Now, I always carry or wear a watch and I do an analog watch because there's another trick I'll show you in a little bit that you can use your watch to find north. But even if you don't have a watch with you, you can infer what time it is uh, by taking your hand, setting it out to the horizon, and each finger is 15 minutes or four is an hour. And if you know when sunrise was or about when sunrise was, you can count up from the horizon to where the sun is and that will tell you about what time it is. Now for the purposes of this video we're going to pretend it's uh, 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. Sun has just come up so that we get a nice long shadow. Now this map, the top isn't truly north but I'm just using it for demonstration so we're going to assume the top is north on this. I've drawn my floret on and what I can do is take a straight stick or as straight as I can get it and I'm going to put that into the ground. Then, knowing what time it is, and we said we're going to assume for the purposes of this demonstration, it's six o'clock. And I'm take my map and I'm going to lay it down so that that shadow follows the six o'clock line. If I take my compass and I lay that next to it, we see that that is north. Now I can orient my map. I can use the trick of putting myself into the map and looking for my landmarks, uh, whether it's a, um, a baseline at the bottom and a backstop and guardrails on the side so that I can do quick navigation, whatever it is, I now have a pretty good idea of where north is and I can proceed. Really fast way, if you know what time it is, you've got a straight stick and you've put that floret on your map. Here's the other trick that I promised. I'm in my backyard base camp again. And regular watch, just an analog watch. I grabbed the most basic analog watch that I have to show that you don't need anything special. And I'm gonna take the hour hand, I'm gonna point it at the sun, which is behind me. Then I'll take a stick and put it on the center of the watch. And you can see that there's a shadow going from the stick uh, across roughly three o'clock. So the sun's at 10 and the shadow is at three. If I go to the halfway point between that, which is gonna be halfway between the 12 and the one, that's gonna show me south. It won't be exact because of course you're doing approximations, but it's a great way of finding just your general direction of north, which is gonna be opposite of that south line. So again, I'm gonna point the hour hand towards the sun, put a stick in the middle, and then look for that shadow and then find halfway between those two, and that's going to show me south. Thanks for joining me for another Wilderness Wednesday. I try to get one out every week. Sometimes it might be a day or two late. Thanks for your patience. If you like this video, you found it helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and then you'll get notifications when I put out a new video. If there's a tip or a skill that you'd like to learn, something you heard about online or a friend mentioned, leave me a comment. I'll see if I can teach it to you here on YouTube. This is Joe Bassett for Valiant Outfitters. We'll see you for another Wilderness Wednesday.